West London hosted Chelsea and Liverpool for a place in the fifth round of the FA Cup. Both clubs were enjoying something of a renaissance. Liverpool returned to the boot room with the appointment of Roy Evans and the emergence of local stars like Robbie Fowler and Steve McManaman. Chelsea were going from strength to strength with an influx of exciting foreign talent led by Dutch master Ruud Hullet. The Blues had reached the cup final three years before, but it was a harsh lesson to learn as they were heavily beaten by Manchester United. Liverpool had reached the final themselves in 1996, when they also lost to United. Welcome to Stamford Bridge for the match of the round in the FA Cup. It's Chelsea against Liverpool, two clubs who've been all the way to Wembley in this, the world's most famous competition in the last three years. Chelsea beaten finalists three years ago, in fact, Liverpool suffered the same fate last season and both times the winners were Manchester United. Well, let's have a look now at the team news, beginning with Chelsea. Ruud Hullet, the Chelsea player manager, has injury problems in more ways than one. A twisted ankle is keeping him out, and he's also lost midfielder Craig Burley with a similar injury. But he does welcome back Scott Minto after injury and Steve Clark following suspension, while both Dennis Wise and Mark Hughes have come safely through fitness tests this morning. The big news, though, the return of Gianluca Viali. So Hullet has opted for Viali, Hughes and the other Italian Gianfranco Zola in a very adventurous attacking formation. Now Liverpool's lineup: Roy Evans without two centre-backs, the injured Neil Ruddock and Phil Babb, who's suspended. Their replacements are Dominic Matteo and Liverpool's new signing from Norway, Bjorn Kavama. Michael Thomas is still suspended, so Jamie Redknapp continues in his place in midfield. Alongside John Barnes, who's back after missing two of the last three games with a hamstring injury. Liverpool beat Chelsea 5-1 at Anfield in September, but lost 1-0 here at Stamford Bridge in the return league game on New Year's Day. So, Hullet has really thrown the gauntlet down to Liverpool with his team selection here. Clearly, Chelsea are going to go for it at the first time of asking, and that uh, really means that we've got a very, very promising tie in prospect here. And a big test for this young man, Kavama, playing only his second game for Liverpool. Colin Moore reintroduced to the side. It had been expected that it was either going to be him or Patrick Berger, who got the place alongside Robbie Fowler. It's Colin Moore who gets the vote, even though Berger scored two goals in that 5-1 success for Liverpool over Chelsea at Anfield. Here goes Fowler, Sinclair the defender, and the uh, kick clear, just about found a teammate, Di Matteo playing it down the line. Robbie Fowler, who also found the net in that 5-1 success at Anfield in September. Is Leboeuf. And Liverpool have it back with Bjornavi. Collymore's layoff. Leboeuf's clearance again. And Viali almost got his first touch, but uh, right quickly into deny him. And Liverpool have settled quickly here. And a little bit of unease at the back, but Chelsea finally get the ball clear. Collie Moore, and uh, really Hitchcock might have come off his line a little quicker than that. He certainly caused a problem for Scott Minto. Excellent play by Wise. Well, just ran out of steam a little bit at the end, but the crowd applaud the uh, aggressive run there. Viali had taken defenders away with his clever little run there. And that just opened up the space for Wise. He thought about knocking it wide for Viali and then thought again. And Liverpool always quite happy to go crab-like across the field if it means keeping possession. That's the uh, creed as far as Liverpool are concerned. Keep that ball. 
McAteer under pressure, but still manages to keep possession. That's excellent play by Liverpool under pressure in the centre of the field. And they'll stay patient and find an outlet, as they've done now with McManaman. You want to be on his left? Collymore. McManaman tries to lose Petrescu. Oh, it's a lovely little step over to open up for the cross, and that was so tempting. Liverpool had two men near the six-yard box, neither could make contact. McAteer keeps the pressure on. Oh, and a chance here, and turned in by the ace goal poacher of them all. And Liverpool are in front here. Well, it looked as though they'd missed an easy opening seconds before that, but when it came back into the six-yard box, the one man you wanted on the end of it was the perfectly placed Robbie Fowler. Wise for Chelsea, straight against Matteo, so it's a corner. Petrescu, the little ball back for Zola. The cross knocked clear by Barnes. Newton keeps the pressure on. And then it goes to Viali and David James. Well, you can only believe that he <laughs> knew what he was doing then. It looked as though he was going to make a routine catch straight away, but he just sort of palmed the ball away from danger and then nonchalantly picked it up again. I'm not entirely sure that was his objective. Pallymore caught offside at the other end, and he's been offside rather too often for Liverpool's liking already in the uh, opening stages of this game here. 20 minutes gone, Chelsea nil, Liverpool won, Robbie Fowler after 10 minutes, the goal scorer. Who a mistake has given the ball to Collymore. He could make it two here. What a tragedy for Chelsea and in particular for Newton. A terrible first touch by him, and you can't give gifts like that to Collymore, who went on to convert. An easy chance by his standards for his 10th goal of the season and Liverpool have made a dream start here at Stamford Bridge. It should have been easy, really, for Newton, but he just stabbed the ball into the path of Collymore and must have looked on in horror to see what happened next. Here's Di Matteo. Diali. It's a better ball to Wise. Kawama heads it clear, and Minto! He was claiming that that either touched the defender or that James got a hand to it, I think the latter, but no uh, corner has been given, it's a goal kick. See if he was right here. No, I think he was, it was, he literally was right, it was Mark right, I think the last player that the ball touched on the way out. Good play again by Liverpool, and McManaman has gone in here, and he's got Fowler in support. It could be three. Well, there's only one word really to use there, and that is greedy, because I feel sure if he'd pulled the ball back for Fowler, it would have been three. McManaman decided to go it alone, and you have to say that was a mistake. He looked up, he must have known Fowler was there. He looked again and saw him, and decided to go for goal himself. Manaman for them. Just slowing it down now, I think Liverpool trying to see out the half. 
and keep their 2-0 lead intact. And another little incident. <laughs> Wise uh, being used at the moment in the role of peacemaker, unfamiliar for him. And it's all ending in smiles, the referee should leave it at that, surely. I don't think he's going to. No, it's a yellow card for both of them. Now, the players themselves were quite happy to shake hands and leave it at that. But the referee, who let earlier challenges go unpunished, has uh, seen fit to bring out yellow card to both of them. Now, a chance again for Liverpool. McManaman mishit it, but it still could have found the net. Barnes played it to him, and I'm sure he didn't connect as he would have wanted to with this shot here. Let's have a look again. It seemed to come off the outside of his left foot here as Barnes laid it into his path. Oof, look how close Fowler was to getting another vital touch to it as well. Petrescu. Here's Eddie Newton. Wise battling away. And again, there was a wild challenge there, but it's come to nothing as Collymore counter-attacks for Liverpool. McAteer. The end of a fairly ill-tempered first half, it has to be said at times, and one in which Ruud Hullit's team really made key mistakes. Liverpool have looked good right from the start and deserve their lead at half-time at Stamford Bridge, where the scoreline is Chelsea 0, Liverpool 2. Di Matteo. Now New. This is Steve Clark for Chelsea. And not a bad ball in, used it brilliantly! Well, what an inspired substitution it turned out to be! Within five minutes of getting on the field, Mark Hughes has got Chelsea back into the game. Just what they were missing, that kind of direct approach in the first half. That is a magnificent goal. Took it on the chest, turned and hit it in the same movement and found the corner of the net that was unguarded by David James. And now we have a real cup tie on our hands. It's Chelsea 1, Liverpool 2. Mark Hughes, the Welshman, remains one of Stamford Bridge's great favourites. And you can see why, with a goal of that quality. Well, what a tremendous time prospect now. And it's suddenly Liverpool on the back foot. Dan Petrescu, the Romanian international. Good play by Di Matteo, the Italian. And on it goes, ooh, Viali almost escaped the attention of the Liverpool defenders then. Chelsea's throw, the noise level is rising, and uh, so is the pace and momentum of Chelsea's play, as Viali gets a dangerous ball in. Kovama lifting it away, here he is again, Viali, and now Di Matteo, danger for Liverpool here! Good save by David James. Terrific stuff at the start of the second half now. And from a neutral's point of view, the Hughes goal, just what the game needed. Sammy Lee there, one of the Liverpool backroom team, looking at his watch already. And that shows you how anxious Liverpool are about the way Chelsea have begun this second half. Good save by David James, that. Well, McManaman was convinced that Liverpool were going to get the throw then. Frank Leberth. Good ball. Petrescu. Unlucky. But they kept it with Zola. Brilliant! Absolutely brilliant goal by Zola! And Chelsea have drawn level in the space of 12 minutes in the second half. You just knew the moment it dropped to Zola's feet. A goal 
was a likely outcome. And whatever Hullet said and did at half-time has had a massive effect here at Stamford Bridge. And Liverpool's comfortable two-goal cushion has been wiped out. Magnificent strike by Zola. Maybe a little deflection on the way, but it didn't make any significant difference at all. Because that had David James beaten all ends up. McAteer gets the ball forward to Collymore. Chelsea have it back again, a spectacular clearance. Hughes almost took a kick in the face then from Kawama. Zola has drifted out to the left, interestingly now. And finds Petrescu. And on it goes to Viali! Unbelievable stuff! Chelsea, 2-0 down at half-time. Off 3-2 in front. One of the most incredible turnarounds I've seen for many, many years in the FA Cup. Liverpool, of all teams, have had a two-goal lead wiped away within 17 minutes. Incredible. Quite incredible. And Viali timed his run perfectly and the finish just as perfect. His ninth goal of the season and it looks as though all Rude Hullet's decisions are coming right here. Chelsea are playing magnificently here. Sinclair for them. Good ball, they're cutting through Liverpool now uh, so often. Di Matteo. Chance for Di Matteo. Oh, it was a magnificent save by David James. Hard to believe how he could keep that out. It looked bound for the net. I really thought that was going in. David James didn't. Midway through, a quite incredible second half. And there's another tester! Oh, and James did well then. It came through a crowd of players and took a deflection en route. Another Chelsea goal now, and I couldn't even see Liverpool coming back from it. They've pulled Liverpool's defence all over the place in this half. Viali and Zola have uh, interchanged and gone out wide when they've had to and Hughes has been the spearhead down the middle and tactically Pullet has really produced uh, a bit of magic here in the second half and his players have responded magnificently and they're 15 minutes away from a famous win Zola's free kick it's a good one could be it. Viali has scored and Chelsea have increased their lead to 4-2 and Liverpool could be out of the FA Cup now. The coolest man around is Rude Hullet. But the joy is unconfined in the stands and on the terraces. And Viali, who has been left on the substitute bench, remember, for eight matches, has come back and scored two goals against Liverpool and Chelsea are in a commanding position now. Two goals behind at half-time, 3-2 ahead within uh, 12 minutes, wasn't it, at the start of the second half and now 4-2 in front. Liverpool go forward looking for one more and Fowler almost got it. Good save by Hitchcock. Good reactions from the goalkeeper. But it won't matter now because even if Liverpool do get one back, I don't think there's going to be time for two. And now Chelsea suddenly hit Liverpool on the break again with Zola. Oh, if he'd have got that pass right, Viali might have been on for his hat-trick. It's all over. And Chelsea, quite incredibly, have turned a two-goal deficit into a 4-2 victory on an afternoon that I think 
will take many years to be forgotten by the Chelsea supporters. An astonishing second half, there's no other word for it. Pulitz team 2-0 down and in the minds of many, many observers out at half-time. But what a second half they produced. And Mark Hughes, who came on as a half-time substitute, started it all off with his goal. Then one for Zola, two for Viali, and Liverpool were totally outplayed in the second half here. And Chelsea thoroughly deserved their victory. The final score then, and an absolutely joyous Stamford Bridge here in West London. Chelsea 4. Liverpool 2. Chelsea would go on to beat Middlesbrough 2-0 in the final to claim their second FA Cup and they would follow this up by winning the European Cup Winners' Cup.